I believe that anything can become material for art. It's one of the freest environments because you requested to reinvent the rules. Vamos a probar con revólveres, pero sería mejor escuadras, creo. Con escuadras, sí. Sí, sí. O chécate en las cajas, mi mano. Sí. This is one of the many workshops that I've been doing where we turn weapons into instruments. Y aquí quedaba el puente. La idea es que, mira, el problema es que aquí, esta está torcida. The notion of sculpture is having the understanding that you can take that material and give it shape. Something that was designed to kill, how will it produce sounds for music? I often find myself knocking at the doors of different government agencies, trying to persuade them to embrace this initiative as something that could happen on a national scale because we need to get rid of all the weapons that are entering our territory from the United States. Doing these workshops as an attempt to transform not only the material metal, but also to, to, to try to create a psychological transformation and hopefully a social transformation. I grew up in Mexico City and I have always lived here. And I don't have any plans to move. I love it. I studied architecture, although I had always wanted to be an artist. After architecture school, I wanted to have a kind of a space for doing experiments, and I opened an artist-run space called Torre de los Vientos. It was a hollow tower made in 1968, and I knew this space was abandoned. And I squatted in, and I started to use it as a studio, and then invite other artists to do projects there. So when I started that, I was 23 years old and I didn't have a kind of artistic education. But I learned through curating what was the trade of being an artist. Let's see this. I consider myself a sculptor. As an artist, I'm very interested with how things are built and how you can walk around them. I also am very concerned with, with form and, uh, and materials. And it's interesting because in architecture, you learn to solve problems. So I think that that stick with me, you know, the issue of having to solve problems to a degree that often it's hard for me to think just art for art's sake. Y luego acá podríamos tener otros pedacitos de lámina de forma de que cuando esto se mueve para adelante y para atrás haga pim 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 pim. Artists change the perception of things. So, something that is considered disgusting such as an insect you could turn that into a source for protein and make food out of insects. These are the crickets. So you see, they have their, you know, like their little legs and stuff. They're very yummy. Making a hamburger, which instead of meat you use crickets, could have 
a tremendous effect in the environment. And our reliance on meat as a source for protein is driving the planet to extinction. This was an idea that my son gave to me. Son hamburguesas de chapulín. Wow. Pues este es un experimento. ¿En serio? Sí. A ver si tiene éxito. Perdón. Sí. Tan grande, dalo. El problema es agarrarlas, porque sí, luego este. No, pero está muy buen tamaño, la verdad está riquísimo, eh. Other people may copy the idea. So you hope that in a way you spark a trend. Camarada, I have a new idea for our manifesto. Good, good, friend. What idea? All that is solid melts into air. I don't know if that could happen. When I became a parent, I started to see how my kids were feeding their mind. So I decided to do this puppet show where I could present the political debate between, you know, capitalism and socialism, like Marx on one side or Adam Smith on the other. And I have no cookie, and therefore you should give me your cookie. Okay, well, you're gonna fight over who eats the cookie, but using these kind of uh, uh, ideological ideas. Well, according to you, the capitalist, you should have bought a cookie, so you would have ownership of the cookie, and then you would have the right to eat all of the cookie. Oh, cool. just, give, just give me the cookie. You can't have my cookie. Give me the cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Mythology, mathematics, neurology, pacifism, poetry, psychology, that's social sciences, feminism, social justice, uh, Latin America, I mean, like, I, I think that my library is like my brain. In any moment, one section of the library becomes the raw material for a new series. For me, every year I need to move to a different planet. One big new field of research that I start. It becomes an entire system of reading materials and sculptures that will be made and a show. People's United Nations, or PON, is an idea that I had since I was a kid. There's a comic strip made in the 60s called Mafalda. She's saying, yes, when I grow up, I'm going to be an interpreter at the UN. So when one delegate tells another, your country stinks, uh, I'm going to translate, oh, your country is charming. And then, you know, like, I'm gonna avoid global war. And then she looks at the planet and says, like, but you have to promise you will last until I grow up. Count of three. One, two, three. Role play is something that is very much present in pun. The fact of being in character and the character being that you're the delegate of your country makes this game very serious. And I love serious games. I mean, I love serious fun. So I'm from Mexico City. I've been living in California for four years. Yeah. I love my city. I love my country. But it is a, like people are scared. If you were the president or head of state of China, what change would you implement? In the past two years, Two members of my family have been killed. 
remove the nationalistic component of a school curriculum. Well, we need to rise yeah. as yeah. citizens. Yeah. Like we need to not just complain. No. Super fun talking Super to you. Super fun talking <laughs> to you too. <laughs> that is why art is useful because you can have this rehearsal space where you can play. <laughs> this workshop is called Pond Times. Each of you say to the group something about your country, but it's like actually something that you don't like about your country. So we're going to turn that negative thing into a positive headline of extremely optimist scenarios. Hi, I'm the delegate from Venezuela. And when I shared my concerns about violence and crime in my country, the delegates of Germany, Australia, Yemen, and Paraguay um, helped me think of a solution. So soon, the headline in the papers in Venezuela will be mandatory use of U-turn bullets in all guns in the country. I love my life. <laughs> it's super fun. You're like a kid and everybody like, gets to do what you wish. I mean, in terms of, oh, I have this wild idea, let's make it, yes, and it happens. It's amazing.